Hi there and welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to set up Google UTM codes. Now don't be scared, it's a little bit technical but it's really worth spending some time doing this because then you can track your individual pins in Google with your Google Analytics and so you will know exactly which pins are driving traffic back to your website. Okay, so all you need to do is in Google itself, just Google, Google UTM codes and this particular, um, this is the one I use, I think a few come up, but you can just pick this one. And what you're given here is a selection of fields that you're going to fill out. Okay, so let's just grab a URL. So this is a landing page on my website. So that's what you put here in your website URL. So this is your blog post or landing page or whatever it is that you want, the, the link that you want the pin to go to. The campaign source is which platform uh, this link is coming from. So in this case, it's going to be Pinterest. And I like to, in here, to, for the medium, I just put organic. So I know that this is organic traffic from Pinterest going to this URL. So the next thing you need to fill out is the campaign name. So this is going to allow you to know which landing page the pin has gone to. So I tend to just name it something very similar to the actual URL itself. You can't use any spaces in here, which is why I'm using underscore. And then for the campaign content, that's where you put in what makes each pin specifically different to each other. So this is where you put things like image one or image two, um, if you're split testing a couple of things. So this is the bit that's going to be unique for each pin. So it's very important that each campaign content has something in there that tells you specifically which pin it is, because all of this is going to be the same across the different pins that you send to this one URL. And then once you fill all those in, it generates uh, a URL down there, which you can just hit by um, pressing this copy URL button. And so uh, I've got Airtable open again. So in here, that's what I paste in here so that I've got it, so I haven't lost it. And then when you go to upload your pin to Pinterest, so you, for the URL, you put that UTM code rather than just a straight URL back to your website. In another lesson, I'll show you how to set up a Google report so that you can, so that you can clearly see those pins and how to get that information from from your analytics. 